Release results in relief, a remembrance of what your body and self originally know. There is often a feeling of tension and nervousness of the unknown before the release, but the release itself opens up neutrality and rest for you. If anxiety or resistance persists, it may be that you are behaving in the energy of depriving and not of release. You don't need to deprive yourself or even discipline yourself. It's not a test or a contest. This is you and your body and your life and your present. Be patient with yourself and listen to yourself. You can experiment and change your mind. Be thoughtful about what is right for you, regardless of what I or any other guidance says. Keep in mind that instant perfection is not how the body works, and perfection is not the ask. The body needs time to become familiar with even good things, you need the oscillation between the old and the new. The reason that these choices are called releases is because it's very human to hold very tight to what we know, regardless of if it no longer serves. Releases are not necessarily instant releases. Occasionally it can be that way. But rather invitations where you become a companion with your body over time. Release where you go and where you are at. Release inhabiting any space that is not related to being a magician or whatever other ways and embodiments you proactively choose. I'm not asking you to stop mowing the lawn, stop parenting, stop going to work. Feel free to be functional in society as it is. Embrace immersion in the world but ponder your life habitations and travel and release any that are ready to go. Ponder what would be magical for you in terms of when you sleep and when you are awake. Are you awake when sleep calls? Are you sleeping when awake whispers? Release what binds and inhabit what liberates. Ponder any input into your time and your body. Ponder the air, the light, the food, the people, the media, the sound, everything that is coming into you. There's no rush for making these observations. Slowly taste what is now and taste what could be. Perhaps ask your mother, the mother earth, the mother of life, what of what gifts or input she would love for you to partake, what she has in her cup she is ready to pour into yours. Ponder your expressions, what leaves your body and the powers of your body to radiate toward other beings. Are your expressions love and freedom and balanced magic? Release anything less. Release ecstasy. Allow well-being. Try a thought experiment of imagining the release of anything and everything that is not the practice of your magical crafts and your novice practice, as well as any preferred immersions and play. Again, I'm not asking you to be societally dysfunctional, but imagine what a fully magical life for and from you could be like in terms of time and place and activity. Don't do this in the way of longing and registering lack, but affirm that these gifts are already yours and you are already in the process of discovery and revealing 
you have time to create, little by little, your magical life. You can't lose anything, but only be more surely aware of what upholds you and delights you. You may live in the sensation of well-being and of magic. Oh, this wondrous earth! Release the static of anything other than that. As you make a habit of this deep listening to yourself and allowing the releases you become ready for, as well consider the power of your consent. As the magician, you honor the consent of other beings, but you have consent also. Is your consent honored by other beings and ways of living? Do you honor your own consent and the consent of your body and its parts? This review of the state of your consent is not about fear or condemnation, but an opportunity for clarity, deeper seeing, and a more whole peace. Reacquaint yourself with your own consent and let that make you giggle. Withdraw your consent from subjugation and debris. Consent to magic, to change and creation, to the sharing of your gifts, the art you fashion, to the well-being, life force, and laughter within appearance. Remember, there's no rush, and these explorations and new habitation for your body happens gently over time. If you wish, you may use the following practice. This practice is best after doing some work with sensation, as described in earlier recent Keys of Magic videos. Stand anywhere on ground, grass, or dirt, barefoot. Thus, you are connected directly to the skin of your mother. Relax your body. Breathe. Bring your inner awareness to your feet. Energetically, sensationally, open the bottom of your feet. Say, you are unbound. That which is ready may go. Then allow a short space of time for energy release to pass through the bottom of your feet into the earth. You may or may not experience sensations. The earth is electrically and magnetically prepared to neutralize any charge. One way our bodies are grounded and neutralized is by contact with the earth, with the ground. After a few moments, energetically close the soles of your feet. Say, I walk with care and delight. You may do this exercise as often as you like at various points in your time. In my next video, I'm going to add to the picture of the powers that magicians possess and develop. I will see you then.